everyone, I'm Dr. Sada Falam and today I'm going to be reviewing immune system. Now what are the things that you're supposed to know in this topic? You're supposed to know innate immunity, adaptive immunity, hypersensitivity reactions, the re diseases caused by hypersensitivity, immunodeficiency diseases, and uh, graft rejection, graft versus host disease, primary immunodeficiency, secondary immunodeficiency, AIDS, amyloidosis, so there, is, there are a lot of things to read in that, okay? For adaptive and innate immunity, the two best lectures are Dr. Najib and Armando Hasudukin. He will not allow you to sleep by keeping his humor alive, and this beauty and brains is difficult to ignore. But just one word of advice, if you're doing Armando Hasudukin, you could uh, skip VDJ somatic recombination for later if you're an undergraduate student, or maybe just skip it for a while. I cannot complete the discussion on immune system lectures without talking about Dr. Mubin Sayed. He has over a hundred videos. Yes, you heard it right, hundred videos. Now he talks in length about neutrophils for four and a half hours, two hours of macrophage, over an hour of basophila and mast cells. Well, it's a good discussion, hence I'm even mentioning it to you. But if you're an undergraduate student, it's really not for you. If you're into immunology, really you can get a great advantage out of this, these lectures because no one, no one has spoken about it so fantastically anywhere online. Now for my undergraduate students, some very important topics uh, like hypersensitivity reactions and all the associated diseases like myasthenia gravis, SLE, and uh, multiple sclerosis, allergic rhinitis, all these topics are so fantastically explained by osmosis. You know, it's really a case of, you know, great thing comes, comes in small packages. So osmosis has done a great job. I think if you are uh, having an exam tomorrow, you all should start with these topics because there's a very high probability you will be asked that in your exams. Washington deceit, it bypasses all difficult mechanisms. You can bypass his music if you like. And uh, it's a compact lecture, but uh, it uh, talks about more or less everything. It's quite holistic. It talks about hypersensitive reactions. He talks about immunodeficiency, both, pri both primary and secondary. He talks about graph rejection. He also shows you slides on graph rejection, I think, which is quite great. Nobody has done that. And uh, also remember, so Shomu's biology has given a good mnemonic for hypersensitivity reactions. I've seen that a lot of undergraduate students get confused between one, two, three, four and their mechanisms. So you could use that definitely. Okay, no one talks about uh, graph rejection and graph versus host disease in a great way, at least the mechanism. I'm going to be doing that very soon for you, hopefully. So just remember one thing, a lot of undergraduate students get confused about this. So graft versus host disease and graft rejection are two different things. They are mirror image of each other. Just remember that. Don't uh, think that it's almost the same. So if you like my review and you find my channel useful, do like and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.